I don't know. I hear you. I am. In the back. She is. I'm on the right side. Okay. Good to see all of you here this morning. Uh, for some reason, I think there's quite a few of us missing. I don't know if some people are still sick. I know that uh, Lee is still coughing real bad, so she stayed home. But Lee and Robert are both greatly improved. I, I haven't heard. I was hoping to see Steve and Deb here today, uh, hoping that they were much better. Also, they had the same thing you had, whatever it was. The flu is what I call it. I guess it was the flu, yeah. Uh, so I guess people need to start getting flu shots if you're a person that does that. Well, if you don't do that, that's fine. I used to wouldn't get one at all, but I, in the past few years I've, I've broken down and, and get one, so I don't know if it helps me or not. But I, get it. but I don't have the flu, so I guess I can say something for that. But, uh, I've got some announcements I'd like to share with you. Uh, first of all, uh, Steve and Judy have brought uh, 23 calendars from MAL. Okay, these are always great calendars. They have uh, great pictures and little uh, things of, under the picture about you know where it was, what it was about, what country what they were doing, all of that, and of course all to do with uh, uh, aviation and ministry. And uh, many of you went and came here to see the movie that MAL put out, uh, Ends of the Earth, okay? Now, if by chance you didn't come and see that movie, or you would like to see it again, then Here's one, and if there's more of you that want one, Steve can make one of these available to you. So is there anyone that didn't see it that would like to, or that wants to see it again, would like to have one to pass along to somebody else? If that's the case, then I, this one will be over there uh, on Mike's table, and all you've got to do is contact Steve, and uh, he'll get you one if you want one, okay? Okay. Huh? Free. Okay, you can have this one then. Okay, so thank you, you guys, for providing those for us. I appreciate it very much. Uh, now, we didn't have our ride and drive today because we realized it's going to be 34 degrees when some of us were coming to church this morning, and it was only going to be in the 40s when we went on the ride. So, uh, you know, we wimped out. I, I used to ride at temperatures like that, and all the rest of you did too. No problem. It's a problem. <laughs> I was telling somebody yesterday, I don't even want to get in the shower if it's not 70, 70 degrees. <laughs> oh, I've just gone. I've just gone south that way this past six months. Just. An unbelievable crash down, just cold all the time. And the problem is, believe it's not cold. <laughs> that, that creates an issue. Okay, but next Sunday, October the 30th, is our soup and salad potluck. So uh, hopefully you'll be planning to involve yourself in that. Now we're going to try to start the dinner at 11:15. I believe we'll be able to do that without any problem. And we'll be able to have the dinner, get everything buttoned up here, and still, well before 1 o'clock, get the sermons for the baptismal service. Okay? So, if you'll recall in the past, we've always set the baptismal services at 1 o'clock. Okay? So, we're going to be able to do the potluck and the baptismal service in the same time frame. So don't think it's going to be longer, because it's not going to be longer. Uh, I'm going to have a shorter sermon. We're going to get it all fixed in to that time frame. So please keep that in mind, and I hope you make the potluck and the baptismal service. Uh, <coughs> potluck, soup, salad, and dessert, okay? That's what we're going with this time. So uh, that's this coming Sunday. Now. 
November the 19th, that's a Saturday, from 8 to 6, we're going to do something that we've never done before as a church. And uh, something that <laughs> for the past years I have resisted when it was mentioned to do this. And that is raise money in some means other than uh, tithes and offerings. I have in past years been willing for the youth group in the church to do car washes or whatever like that, you know, to raise money that they would use for events and all for themselves. But I've never been one ever to say yes to raising money uh, by some project. I believe that money for the church is to be tithes and offerings. But this has been suggested and I'm willing to go with it because there's a need and we don't have any other way to meet the need. And so we're going to have an indoor garage sale November the 19th here. Okay? It'll be from 8 to 6. Okay? You'll need to bring your items at 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon. You'll be responsible for setting them up, displaying them, whatever way you want to, uh, keeping in mind that you, know, you don't need to just spread your stuff out forever, but keep it fairly confined because there will be other people that will be bringing things. You will also be responsible for picking up anything left at 6 o'clock on Saturday. Now, if you do not come at 6 o'clock on Saturday and you have items left and you don't come to pick it up by 6 o'clock on Saturday, then whoever's here can get your items. Okay? And if nobody wants them, they're going in the dumpster. Okay? So I'm serious about this. We can't just hang on to all this stuff or uh, haul it around until you decide it's a good time to pick it up. But I have to be strict on those two things. 5 o'clock Friday, you set up. 6 o'clock Saturday, you pick up or just, you know, let it go. And we'll be happy to dispense of it in one of those two ways for you. You don't have to come back. But I just want you to know, anything left will not be saved if it's not dispensed of in those two ways. Now, this is going to be money for Haiti. Okay? So, we're going to do a lot of promotion on this. And we're hoping that this time of the year, since there are fewer yard sales, and the fact that it being indoors, we might get a lot of people in. And so all the money, everything will go to Haiti. Okay? So you don't have to worry about putting a price on any of your stuff because the way we're going to do this is we're going to have signs up, we're going to make it clear to everyone that comes in that everything here you give a donation for. Okay? You don't pay a price for it, you don't haggle over a price about it. You pick up what you want, you get to the person that's going to take the money, and you're understanding fully that this is a, a donation to an orphanage in Haiti. What do you want to donate for what you picked up? So we're just going to see, uh, you know, I don't know how generous people will be. They may pick up all kinds of stuff and give us two dollars. If that's what they do, then that's what they do. Nothing will be sold. It will all be by donation. So hopefully some generous people will come and we can raise uh, some money for Haiti. They need money. And as you know, in our previous few weeks ago, uh, we've had to stop giving now. We, we have sent one other check of $810 to Haiti since the announcement that we're cutting back. But that's going to be uh, the last unless more money starts coming in. So we need to raise this money this way because uh, Nicole is trying now to get another container of food. It takes about $14,000 to fill one of those containers. And she's trying to get it filled and sent to Haiti and hopefully it can arrive at the orphanage. The last one did. It's a miracle of God that it gets there because they've got to go from Port-au-Prince to the orphanage, which is about a two-hour drive, 
and the roads are are littered with gangs that are blocking the roads. Uh, just concrete blocks, boulders, uh, burning tires all across the road, stopping people on the road. And they were doing that four years ago when we yeah. were there. It's just worse now. But, uh, you know, the fact that, that that last container got through is just a miracle. You know, God just kept them from looking in. Because if they had looked into it, I mean, it would have been a gold mine. And so we need to pray that she gets the money to fill it. We need to pray that she gets the coverage from God to get it there. Because they're already using their their uh, emergency supplies right now for the orphanage. They go to the markets. They can't get meat. They're, they're just, it's just a horrible, horrible, horrible condition. Uh, in Haiti right now. So that's that's what we're going to do. And like I say, it's not the way that I think money should be raised for a church. It should be tithes and offerings. I still believe that and feel that. But because of this being the only way that we can do something right now, I'm willing to try it. Uh, and see if it'll work. So be praying about that and hopefully you'll participate in that. Now, Melita's made up some of these that uh, it would be nice if if uh, you would, they're over there on Mike's counter, if you take one of these or two of them or ever how many you want to and put them out at places you think would be very visible that may lead someone to come to the sale, okay? And uh, Belita and uh, Paulette are in charge of getting this word out in the paper and online and uh, then we'll have some signs out that day uh, pointing this direction and uh, trying to really emphasize that it will be an indoor yard sale. And I hope that's going to uh, draw uh, more people in. And this time of the year, yard sales are pretty much done with. So that also will bring, take us out of competition with a, a lot of other things. Now, you'll want to put this on your calendar. Six o'clock Saturday, December the 10th is our Thanksgiving Christmas dinner. Six o'clock Saturday, December the 10th. We're going to have it again this year at Golden Corral over near the mall uh, in, in Boise. And, um, and so you'll go through the line and pay for your meal. And then we have the banquet room reserved for just our church. So uh, that's worked good for us in the past. So we're going to go that route again. What time was it? Six o'clock. Uh, Saturday, December the 10th. And everybody will just be responsible for paying when you go through. <laughs> It'll be simple, neat, clean, finished when we're through. I mean, we won't have to be hauling stuff anywhere or anything like that. Uh, I bought with Belita and uh, and Janice for years. <laughs> Why? Why can't we just? Take the food and eat and go home. No, we got to decorate the tables and we got to do this and we got to do that. And so here we are dragging stuff through the snow at 15 degrees, you know. And you had a really good attitude. Long work. But I couldn't change their mind. The only thing that works is we're in a place now where they won't let us bring anything. Go eat the food and leave. No mess, no fuss. Yeah, that's right. I'm simple. Just go for it. Straight out. But anyway, thank you all. You made the dinners nice. You really did. It was very Christmassy. And, uh, and you know, that's a woman thing. And I, I'm a man. I'll never understand it. But. Six o'clock Saturday, December the 24th, is going to be a Christmas Eve service here. If you've noticed on your calendar, Christmas Day is the, on Sunday. Oh, wow. So we're not going to have a Sunday service because some of you may be going out of town, maybe going to spend time with family or, or whatever that way. So we're going to have a Christmas Eve service on the 24th and that will be at 6 o'clock. Okay? And so I'd like for us to have the service and then if you would be willing to, I would like for you to bring 
some Christmas dessert or something that we could share together with, with coffee after the service, okay? So it won't be a long service. It'll, it'll be short and sweet, and then we can have a time to drink coffee and eat goodies and visit, okay? And so that'll be Christmas Eve, yes. Is that a family-friendly one? Yes, you can bring anybody you want to for that one. And no now, service on the 25th. Now, um, the dinner, the Christmas dinner for the church is when? It is December the 10th at 6 o'clock at Golden Corral in Boise. And this service is 6 o'clock December the 24th, which is a Saturday, here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got that straight? Okay. Uh, 530, this is another important announcement for this time of the year. 530 Sunday, January the 8th is going to be the Christmas, the Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. The church will provide the dinner at Christmas. And uh, we will have, hopefully, worship music January 8th uh, January the 8th okay. at 530 that sort of gets it away from all the rest of the hullabaloo for the holidays and uh, so we'll we'll have salad and pizza that the church provides and uh, the ladies the uh, lady will be announcing later where they start bringing the gifts for the bags and then the ladies at the Christmas dinner at our house Christmas party. Yeah. The Christmas party at our house, and that's on what? December. I don't have it on here. No, it's December the third. December third. Okay, uh, that will be uh, that will be uh, for the ladies, and you'll do the bags that night, December third. Does that start at six? Six o'clock, our house. Pastor, the chrysalis party is that at six also? What now? What time was the uh, We need to be there at 5.30. Well, actually, food needs to be out and ready to eat at 5.30, so get there at 5. Okay, get there if you're going to work with okay. us and help us at 5 o'clock, and then the food will be ready at 5.30, and then we will eat, and then there will be a program with music, and uh, people will share testimonies. There will be ladies there that will want to be prayed for. You'll get an opportunity to pray for ladies at Christmas and then after that we'll give out the bags and uh, that's always fun because these ladies just go bananas over the bags I mean, they really really genuinely appreciate the gift so and one more time will you give me the Christmas when we set the bags and that that when we do the bags it's at our house December six o'clock on December the third and is that a Saturday yes yes that's a Saturday some people have requested that we do that on Saturday instead of Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing so it's the third Saturday. Okay. Are we going to have the Christmas dinner on the 8th? Well, we did that not long ago. It's not time to do it again. Oh. Yeah. We did it two and a half months ago, probably. Oh, I guess we could. Yeah. So they only do that once a year. Yeah. The spring that we it's the spring, I think it is. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I'd say two months ago, it's probably six. <laughs> okay, everybody got all that? I know it's a lot of announcements, but that's sort of the routine now that we're in for this time of the year. And, uh, and so uh, these are some good things. I hope you'll participate in them with us and that uh, God will bless us, particularly in the raising some money for Haiti. Uh, you know, it'd be great. Could uh, Steve, do you know what's going on with MAF in Haiti now? Yeah, right now the uh, wives and children have been brought back to the States and the guides are still flying, but they're living in the hangar. Wow. So, as far as provisions and that, I'm not sure how and, they do it. And so, the flying that they're doing. What exactly are they doing? Are they? It'd be medical emergencies as well as getting people out to the remote areas who need to go. It could 
be pastors, could be uh, medical personnel. So I mean they'll they'll stay there till just the last minute it's possible I guess and probably living in the hangers a bunch of diehards. <laughs> wow. Actually, the U.S. is thinking about invading Haiti. Mm -hmm. um, and that's happened in the past, and it wasn't always good for Haiti. Haiti is um, rebelling against that. Also, we have Coast Guard on the coast of mm. Haiti now. Yeah. They had a big festival this past weekend. I don't know who ran it, one of the gangs, I guess. Uh, but they had a coffin, and they marched through the streets. They had a French flag, an American flag, and, a, English flag. and an English flag on the coffin, representing the fact that those were three countries that had had rule and authority over Haiti in the past, and they were saying dead to all of that. Uh, they don't, right. don't want any part of it. <laughs> and I don't understand that. I can't comprehend that. I mean, uh, nothing we've ever done there would have been trying to do something to harm them. It would have only been trying to help them. And I figured that the, the French people and the others probably were, you know, trying to do better for them than what the people running the country themselves are trying to do for their people. But, uh, you know, propaganda. People can convince people of anything just about if you say it loud enough and long enough. Okay, the, so. The UN actually dumped cholera infested uh, waste into the river that they used some for uh, drinking. Uh, they did that in 2010 and they're still fighting that infection. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Why did they do that? It, it was an accident. It, that's where they dumped this. Oh, it was an accident. It, it wasn't intended. No. Yeah. No. no I it's kind of stupid. Well, it's stupid. They probably didn't know it had cholera. Yeah, they yeah, did. Just, yeah. Yeah. Well, those people drink the water in the river, and make a bath in the river, yeah. all of that. Yeah. It was just ignorance. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's a lot of announcements. Uh, but uh, get those noted, and, and hopefully we can uh, really, you know, have some good things happen between now and, and first of the year. Okay. Uh, we got Colette and company all full force, plus Kelly today. We're happy about that. We're going to have a good worship night. So we're going to let them come and lead us in worship now. And uh, Mark Grinick is going to lead us in prayer. And then we will uh, let them start leading the situation. What's my mic? Whatever one you get. Whichever one I get. I have a total choice. I can sit here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, oh man, that's brilliant. Oh. Long prayer. He says Long prayer? <laughs> I will we'll tell a quick story about uh, Christmas dinners. Because, uh, ten years ago, do you remember this? Taking me to a, a Christmas dinner ten years ago at, uh, what was it, Children's or Christian Children's, whatever. What was that called? What was that place called down by the river? An Eagle. Christian uh, Children's. Oh, that's right. Remember when it was down there? Jim took me to a Christmas dinner there ten plus years ago. Uh, my first entree to this church. Do you remember that? And that was 10 years ago. That was ago. me. Mark, that was there. 10 years ago. I know you were. I know we went up to the But I can remember it being very festive and very decorated and getting some buffet and all kinds of stuff. Okay, I just think that it was very nice. So, and that was 10 years ago. I think at least 10 years ago. I, I, I thought you'd been hooked up with the church longer than 10 years ago. I've been on 12, so it was a. I thought took you me got hooked up with us immediately. No, I had a PO that didn't want me to come to Right, the right, right. Because so, I'm, I'm an alcoholic. So, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll go to prayer. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this organization, this fellowship, uh, this interaction that we are so blessed to be able to share every Sunday. Uh, allow all of us really to recognize how powerful that is and how important that is. Uh, allow Jim's words today to come forward and touch our hearts. 
show us how we should be the leaders of our community and to share that love with the people that we interact with on a weekly basis. Uh, I pray these things in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark.